Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I am back. I'm super excited as well to be back. My goodness, it's been a while, huh? Um, but anyways, if you are curious as to find out why I have been away, then I will let you guys all know on a live stream. I'm sure you'll see that either tonight or tomorrow I'll be on just to talk to you guys. I missed you guys a lot and it'd be nice to uh, talk to each other even though I can't see you I can see what you guys are saying so I'd really appreciate it if you're there with me but if you're not then it's okay um we're gonna go straight into your reading anyways <laughs> let's see what's going on for uh Sag for the week now for the fire signs there is a little bit of 50 50 going on here so I'll be very curious to see what comes up in your reading in particular um but one thing I will say is that there definitely is a new chapter being brought in and I feel like of course by 2022, by next month, I feel like you're going to see it a lot more, but this is kind of a, the build up towards it, the build up towards almost like a breakthrough. And some of you can definitely feel like something big is about to happen. You're correct. That is your intuition telling you so I can feel what you're feeling, but it's almost as though um, you don't know what it is, though. You don't know where it's going to hit you almost. That's what it feels like, but you just know something's coming and you are right. Um, I feel like 2022 is going to be a good time and uh, especially in terms of growth for a lot of the fire signs. But anyways, let's go into a reading and see what's happening for Sagittarius, please. What can you tell me? Spirit, what's going on for Sag for the week? We have the Seven of Swords. Why? Why is this coming out? For that to be your first card, there definitely is some trust issues coming in. There is some people who are taking advantage of you, lying, cheating most likely here. This could even be our own self-sabotaging behaviors. There is something that needs to stop though with this. I'm going to clarify what the Seven of Swords is. The Empress. Oh, this could be a mother figure. Hmm. This can also be us running away from our own abundance here. And this could be, um, not I don't want to say making excuses, but I feel as though there's been a lot of people in our lives here, maybe from a mother figure here, Sagittarius, or someone who has really kind of told us that we couldn't do the things that we... Um, that we felt like we wanted to do, right? There is almost someone this has in your past taking things away from you um, and maybe even stepped in the way of your success and your abundance. Now, the great thing about this is for the Empress to come up in a reading, I feel like this is you. You're becoming in your own power. The feminine energy coming through here about stepping more into your intuition. This is about um, abundance, as I've been, been saying here. Growth, absolutely. Um, this is also about self-love. It's Venusian energy, right? This is really about discovering yourself and standing in your power, which is nice. Uh, the only thing is, though, you're having to reclaim it back. And one thing I do see for some of you, this could be self-sabotaging behaviors, making excuses for why you can't step into your power because of what other people did to you. One thing I will say for those in particular who that resonates with, that these are just lies that we're telling ourselves. There is nothing holding us back anymore. Anything that feels like it's holding you back is an illusion because the truth is with the Empress here, you are fully able to step into your power because you are a powerful person, Sagittarius. One thing I will say is that it just comes from self-love. It comes from empowering yourself. I feel like you don't have many people around you who are empowering to you. Maybe we need new friends. Maybe we need new people around us that we need to, I feel like, I don't want to say look up to anyone, but be inspired by certain people. And it doesn't have to be people in our workplace or people in our family, but what it can be is people who we see online. And just make sure though that we're seeing the realistic side of this person's story, okay? Because what we don't want to be doing is following people who preach, <laughs> preach a lot, but don't do a lot, right? And um, are going against their own words or again, you don't want to be looking up to certain people who are hypocrites. So just be careful of that. I don't know if some of you will resonate with that. There's a reason why I'm saying it. Um, but with the Empress coming through here, it's about really finding yourself. This is really about stepping in this power of uh, kind of, you know, the Empress energy is about kind of taking a step back and trusting in the universe and trusting in yourself that things are going to work out the way that it needs to. It's a card of uh, nurturing something. It's a card of, oh yeah, Sagittarius, don't give up on something too quickly. Uh, that's the kind of message that's coming in for some of you as well, actually, right now, uh, as I'm channeling it in, because... It's almost as though you start off feeling like I'm deserving of this and I, I, cause you do, by the way, all, all this is true. This kind of self-talk is true. I'm deserving of this and you know, st I'm stepping into my power and I'm gonna achieve everything that I want to achieve. This is a great mindset to have, but then all of a sudden this kind of comes in and it almost is you start to run away from things because it's taking too long. Well, what the universe is saying here, just like the Empress, who is a pregnant woman of the card, just like growing 
having a baby in your belly, it takes a while, okay? And a lot of the work that's being done, you can't see. You can feel something's happening. You can feel something is kind of shifting inside you, but you can't see it. And because you're not physically seeing something, there's this urge to run away. There's this urge to kind of um, kind of go back on yourself here and to kind of start self-sabotaging. This is asking for you not to do that, especially in terms of your negative self-speaking. This is gonna block your blessings, okay? But the great thing about it is, you're moving away from that at least because this reading is done prior to the week we can really start to write down things when they come up if there's any negative self-talk write down what what this is and where this is coming from who told you you couldn't be successful was it someone again from your childhood maybe a mother figure again or is this just something that was you were conditioned to believe regardless it's not true you are deserving of a lot of things there's a reason why you started out telling this to yourself all right but this is just conditional behavior and again maybe even other people that are coming in and trying to block your blessings for some of you just be very careful about the people whether it's in your workplace or your family i'm not quite sure maybe even friends the seven of swords if it's not you self-sabotaging then there is other people who are trying to take from you all right because they don't want to do their own work here they're trying to take from the work that you're doing just be very mindful of that okay Saj? anyways anything else <laughs> anything else for you guys here for Sagittarius for the week. Two of Pentacles, very busy week coming up for you guys. Um, this is a card of multitasking. This is a card of maybe trying new things out. I like this in terms of hobbies. Um, again, I would just say, <laughs> Keep busy, yes, I like the work that you're doing here, but just make sure that you are keeping your eyes open because the Seven of Swords, I feel like for some of you, it is other people around you, okay? What you don't wanna do is have people um, painting a bad light on you, okay? But if they do that, then all you have to do is again, step in your power and understand that you are still able to, no one can really block your blessings in my opinion, but they may try. And if they try, then bad karma will come towards them, right? What you put out into the world, you get back. The hard work and efforts that you're putting forward, whether this is working two jobs with the two of pentacles, or again, just really trying to make things work for you, this will be successful. Just be careful of other people's intentions, all right? Be careful who you're trusting to help you with whatever it is that you're multitasking with, okay? Let's see anything else. The Ten of Pentacles. Well, we love this, especially with the page coming through here. This could definitely be a brand new idea coming in, whether it's higher education. Well, yeah, it could be education for some of you guys. This could be a new job coming in for you guys, a new stream of income that you're actively working towards building. This looks like a very, very good sign. This could be the thing that we're self-sabotaging on, though. We have underneath the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, which is another card of abundance. So this is definitely written up for you, but you have your own free will. If you walk away, from what you are destined to really step into your power to gain did that make any sense <laughs> you guys know what i mean regardless this abundance is definitely yours you have the ability to grow something this could be a family this could be um again money finances this could definitely be a business for some of you guys as well an empire here with the empress but this self-sabotaging behavior this 50 50 going back and forth and again maybe even convincing yourself not to do something that you know is going to be successful because of doubts and fears, then this is really gonna, it's, it's kind of just like this two of pentacles. This outcome is really determined on the self-sabotaging behaviors or whether you let other people get the best of you, okay? So this week, you're really being asked to step into your power. I'm smelling sage, so some of you might need to burn some around you to clear out any negative energies here. Let's see, what else does Sagittarius need to know for the week? Some of you getting your ears pierced, I can see that here. Yeah, I'm seeing something to do with your shoes too. It's specifically slippers though, <laughs> for some reason. All right, we have the eight of wands. Again, change forward movement. So you could be getting some communication coming in as well. Let's clarify. Queen of cups, the emperor. Well, looky here. <laughs> Lucky here, I do see a soulmate connection coming in, which is very nice. Um, um, there's two ways I'm gonna speak about this. First way, this is great in terms of relationships. Someone is definitely winning your heart with the Queen of Cups coming through here. This might come in quite rapidly. There is communication from this emperor. Regardless of gender, it has, it has no relevance here. It's just a masculine energy. There's someone who's very, um, they take a lot of action here. I do like this connection. I would say slow and steady wins the race though. This is a very powerful connection, but one that is just like 
like this, comes in this quickly, is likely to have its kind of moments. I would just say take it easy so that we don't, again, maybe self-sabotage in this either here, Sagittarius, okay? Now this is also about you taking leadership of your life too. With the Eight of Swords coming in, someone feels a little bit stuck. Again, if this is love, which I feel like for some of you it will be, some of you it will be yourself, so take it as it resonates. Someone here feels stuck, all right? And if this is you, you feel stuck in terms of the action that you need to take moving forward and taking control of your life, okay? This person also, if it is in love, feels out of control in this co uh, connection, but this is, again, their own fears getting the best of them and it's something that they need to come out with. If this is the case, then there needs to be some communication in terms of how you both feel towards each other in terms of relationships because I do believe it's reciprocated and I do believe we can go to the next stage in this relationship and there can be some changes with the eight of wands coming through in a positive direction but there is a need for communication before this happens because someone is in their head about this okay a little bit of anxiety a little bit of feeling stuck and not really sure how the other person feels um but this can be discussed over a heartfelt conversation okay it uh, could be a water sign could be an aries regardless of the signs here one thing I will say, if this isn't in love and this is you again, there is a blockage here in terms of the action taking that you need to do. Um, feeling stuck, feeling like you don't really know what to do. Again, this is where a plan will definitely be needed because I feel like you can definitely take control of your life here, Saj. This is a, a, a fact. <laughs> you can. But it's just about trusting in yourself to be able to, regardless of whatever comes your way, be able to deal with it. And as the emperor is, he's determined, he is focused, he's able to make decisions. You have all of these traits because the emperor is here and in the upright. You have everything that you need. You just need to be able to see it, to unlock it within you and to trust yourself. And the one way that I will say that you can do this properly is by kind of ignoring this fear involved here and kind of ignoring the anxiety that's lying to you and to just take charge here with that. I know it's easier said than done, Zeta. I really do understand, but it really comes with just that first step moving forward. And if you do that within this week, then I promise you, you are going to really start to see progress over time. You don't need to, again, jump straight into anything or I'm kind of seeing it as these stairs here. The self-sabotaging behavior is listening to other people or listening to this negative inner dialogue and actually again going down the stairs spirits asking for you to to go up them of course it's about ascension right it's about ascending higher and gaining more out of life because if you go backwards you've already been there you've already done that you don't need to go back again um it's about moving forward into uh things that you've never seen before or done before okay um but again by moving up the stairs one by one you don't need to run up them and reach the top in a week what they are asking for you to do is just one foot at a time or even just kind of being where you are bracing yourself and even just one foot on the step you can be half and half <laughs> there's still something and they're still proud of you for doing that because they understand how hard it is for you in this situation to believe in yourself considering other people have tried to put you down this whole time okay and tried to sabotage your success um, but this is asking for you even one foot at a time is enough this week to see progress and to change the way of, of living and to move towards this abundance okay i see you trying your best and i do see this working out for you okay and and again, Ten of Pentacles, this is a windfall of finances and abundance coming your way. Also happiness in terms of partnerships and connections and even family or friends. Okay? But it first comes with you believing in yourself. Okay? A lot of pink coming through here. Could be a good color for the week. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on here for... Oop, way too many cards. We're going to pull some romance cards for you, Saj. Pay attention to the red flags. We have separation here. So let's talk about it. Let's see what this other one is. Religious factors. Okay, this is interesting. Um, this may not just be romantic relationships, but this, it, these are, for the majority of you, let's say, this will be relationships. We've had a lot of people who have kind of gone against our true beliefs. And this is, again, what they don't want you to do is to kind of sacrifice your own spirituality or your own belief system and morals to be with a person, okay? Because we have pay attention to the red flags and separation. There is someone who is most likely not for you, Sagittarius, that you need to disconnect yourself from because they are making you, again, walk down those stairs. And this is not something that 
spirit wants you to do quite clearly okay um if this is family and friends again this is again making sure that the people that you are surrounding yourself with aren't making you second guess yourself it's about people who empower you and in relationships if this is not something that empowers you you need to walk away from it okay you also have calling in your soulmate and chemistry so as much as there is someone around you right now who is not in your best interest i do see someone true coming in and you will know who this person is when they come in because they will empower you you will feel this chemistry this connection with this person and they will make you feel like being a better person in a very good way they will empower you not drag you down not make you feel like you're crap that you need to improve this person will feel like you're amazing already and by that you'll feel like you want to be more amazing to impress this person even more um anyways if someone is going against your belief system with that religious factors card or again in terms of your spiritual path this is about listening to your intuition with this and paying attention to the red flags that show up all right not trying to um hide them sweep them under the rug here with the seven of swords any of that if you've caught them out in lies already if you've caught them out in you know um if you caught them out cheating already this is not about giving people second chances with that you're an empress my goodness there are um <laughs> not many not many people should not have the audacity to go against an empress like this but if they do then it's their loss okay their loss but what you need to do is place those boundaries and understand how worthy you are of true love and in which case that will come in okay okay all right I love you guys, Saj. I wish you all the best. Believe in yourself. I think it's super important for the week. You are going to bring in that abundance. Finances are coming away. Stability in the home is coming away too. Just believe in yourself and don't allow other people to get in the way of that. Okay? I love you. I'll see you guys next week.